It only took 24 hours, but the Robbinsville Lady Ravens put their MCT loss behind them and pressed ahead with something even more significant, a Central Jersey sectional final. And in Princeton, the county's only remaining unbeaten high school soccer squad played host to Allentown this afternoon. I'm Mark Fontes with Sports on this Friday. The on-field contributions this season of greats like Riley Sheehan, Lauren Budzinski, Christine Levering, and others will not soon be forgotten in Robbinsville Township, a Ravens squad who, aside from that MCT setback, has only one other loss on the year, came into their Central Jersey Group 2 title game last night against Shore Regional, and it was the Ravens who were sure to please. If anything, the game Wednesday against Pennington served as ample practice for this matchup. Robbinsville's ladies taking on Shore Regional in the Group 2 final Thursday night with fans and benches on both sides taking it in. Carrie Nichols early in the first half on the attack hooks up with Christine Levering. She shoots and she scores! Shore goalkeeper Amanda Olson not able to stop the ball. And just like that, the Ravens go up one zip. We'll show it to you one more time. Levering, a master at softball in her own right, proves here she is a highly skilled multi-sport athlete. She lofts that one right into the net just out of Olsen's reach. The early lead was a true momentum boost for Arville, who did not wait long to go on another offensive attack. Bridget McLaughlin dribbling, passes it ahead to Levering. Olsen comes from out of the net, enabling Levering to score once again. A big break for the Ravens here as Shore's goalie jumps the gun in a way. We'll take a closer look at this too. Levering closing in on the goal. Olsen runs toward the ball trying to be a hero, and her strategy backfires. So the Ravens score a second time just minutes after getting on the board the first time. Shore's few offensive of chances in the first half were just that few and far between and Raven goalie Hannah Binder was on point all throughout the half it was still a 2-0 affair at halftime in the second Riley Sheehan with it crosses it and almost connects with Levering that ball had hat trick written all over it Lauren Budzinski with a free kick nicely done new shore goalkeeper Emily Reiser can't get it Leanna Gearhart sends it high in the air it's headed but it just misses the net going wide right shore breathes a sigh of relief they would cut the lead in half later in the second when Claudia Lamarca was able to crease the net just past Rizaldi, but when this was all said and done, Robbinsville's ladies were all smiles as they beat Shore Regional by the final of 2-1 to one and capture another championship for their still young school. They take the Central Jersey Group 2 final on Levering's two early goals and now advance further in soccer postseason play. Earlier today up at Princeton High, the Little Tiger boys who have yet to lose at all taking on the Allentown Redbirds in Group 3 action. Allentown fared well in terms of first half shots, yet George Cousero rose to every offensive of occasion. Zach Holiday of Princeton High working through some tight Redbird defense. Ajami Gikandi gets it and shoots, but he's just off. No need to panic, though. No score early. When Princeton went on later attacks, it was typically Holiday with possession. Here he's able to stay with it. His cross tipped by Redbird goalie Bob Miller, and he's able to secure it. Miller has done a yeoman's job all season of protecting the Allentown net. Kyle Aaronworth, number eight of Princeton, kicks it. It comes back his way. Kellen Kenny shoots, but with not much on it, so again, Miller is there. It remains scoreless at the half. In the second, Scott Scott Beckler with a little pitch and catch with Miller, of course, and that's no good when you're trying to score. The game looking like it's destined for overtime. Paul Haynes of Allentown with a free kick. It reaches the box. Stephen Hensley, the closest one to it, and it drifts just inches wide of the post. A frustrating sight for Redbird fans, and that would be the closest they would come to the net. Holiday with this free kick. The win totally making things tough on both teams. Okay, closing inside of 10 minutes. Tigers with a throw in. It's over Holiday. Jordan Phelps is there. Shoots, and he scores! Phelps, ecstatic, relieved, and overjoyed all at the same time, rushes over to the bench for some hugs. Princeton High fans knew at this point they were pretty much home free as they cheer. Here's one last look at it. Holiday not quite able to get directly under this bouncy ball, but Phelps is right there after that bounce. He catches Miller rarely off guard, a slow dribbler that just trickles its way on in, and it came with just over seven minutes to go in the contest. Time running out for the Redbirds, a team who proudly cruised 15-4-1 into Friday, but they just could not crease the net against the stingy Tiger defense as Princeton High, thanks to a clutch score from Jordan Phelps, takes the Central Jersey Group 3 title. They now look forward to prep rival Pennington, whom they'll challenge Sunday for the Mercer County Tournament, the long-awaited rescheduled game. Just to remind These exciting highlights brought to you on WZBN Sports by the Hamilton Township Education Association, members working to ensure your child's future success. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior NAMI Business Systems with the finest names in office products like Brother, Canon, Konica Minolta, and Muratech. Prior NAMI is changing the way small business does business. 
The only Mercer County High School football squad to secure a home playoff game is also the only one who will get it on tomorrow, while Notre Dame and Steinert go on the road Friday night, and Allentown plays host to Neptune under the lights in Monmouth County. The West Windsor South High Pirates are the favorite to win Saturday afternoon against North Brunswick. All the best to them, and of course the Spartans, Irish, and Redbirds, as high school playoff football kicks off. The West Windsor South Pirates are the prior NAMI team of the day. That's all for sports on this Friday. Next week, highlights of both the Pirate and Spartan playoff games. And we'll, of course, have that long-awaited boys' MCT final between Princeton High and Pennington. Now stay tuned for Mercer County Close-Up.